Hey everybody, it's Ryan from uh, Android Coliseum, and I just wanted to show off um, some of the different, you know, photo editing tools we can use uh, on Android as we talk more and more about the, you know, better quality cameras we're putting in these things. Uh, we want to know how can we really make this our, our actual camera and make it sort of our digital studio as well. So there's a couple I'm going to show off today. Um, we have to do this in a couple of different videos, but there's uh, Photoshop Express, Photoshop Touch, uh, I really like Aviary, and my favorite, which is Snapseed. And then we also have anything that's uh, an ICS or better has uh, a photo editor built into it. So what I'm going to first do is just go into the gallery, and let's just go ahead and pick a picture from my gallery, one here. And let's take a look at this shot and see which ways we can sort of edit and play around with it. So first off, we can go ahead and edit it via the built-in editor. And you get some of the basic stuff, like you can punch up the vibrancy, you can make it vintage, you can make it instant looking, you can do all sorts of little basic editing. You can crop it if you wanted to, straighten it, you know, how you think you'd want it to straighten. Uh, crop it how you want. So very simple, straightforward. How you want to be able to do this. So uh, doo -doo, what else we can do? Rotate. And then just some of the adjusting exposure, vignettes. You can play around with some of that. Oh we even got stuff like curves. I didn't even know we had curves in here. This is kind of cool. So we can adjust different filters and stuff there. Oh, what else can we do in this? black and white filter play around with it so that's uh, ooh, saving it whoopsie I don't mean to save that picture <clears throat> so anyways that's one way we could do it and the other way we can do it is then share it to some other day apps we have and so like I said my favorite is Snapseed Snapseed isn't quite as powerful but what I really like about it is its interface very simple and straightforward we could just choose automatic sort of adjustments. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there. Just by changing your, your finger over there. And then by moving up and down, you change color contrast current or color correction. And you can adjust that. And then you would, you know, X or check mark that. You can do selective adjustment. This is kind of a cool spot where you do is you add a point here, let's say, and you want to just work on just that these flowers let's do that another one there okay so then for these flowers again so I put the three different spots there I can adjust all you know, the different settings just in that sort of selected area that one I can then change You know, up or down changes the type, left and right changes the amount. So again, kind of cool little things. Tune image, again, all the different kind of settings, contrast, ambience, brightness. You can play around just by moving your finger cursor and just playing around with it, which is really kind of nice. Straighten, details, you can talk about structure and sharpening. And you can go around and play with it all you really want. So, it's this style. So, there's got a lot of neat little styles. And what I again, what's really like about it is that it's super simple, straightforward. You get to see what you like. Once you're done, you hit the save button. You can share to Google Plus or you know, um, take a picture that way. So, back out of there. Let's go back to the main shot. The other options we can do. And if I can find it, it is share with aviary. Now aviary is one of my favorites for a while there. A very simple, straightforward kind of interface until Snapseed kind of did it. So idea again, same idea. We have an options to enhance. We have auto, we have you know night backlight. You can adjust and play around with it. And again, if you don't like it, just back it out. Go back to normal. Adjust the balance on it. You can play with different effects. 
all sorts of little funky stuff you can do and you can pay for extra ones if you wanted we can play with uh, all sorts of little mini things like how focus how big do I want that focus to be you know and how much outside that I can play around with brightness contrast saturation all those kinds of fun things you can even do stuff like draw on it if you wanted to do nifty straightforward simple uh, so that was aviary the other one um, there two are the Photoshop ones and I'll go out of them and I'll go into the Photoshop so first came out was Photoshop Express uh, gives you your gallery here let's go grab a picture um, that was the one I think we were working with and yes this is the one I want to work with so edit photo and you can play around with stuff like exposure tint blackness black and white sort of contrast and it just again simple almost very little sort of adjust how much you want to adjust on it almost too simple for me it was just okay this is not not exactly fun but it was the first one that came out for Photoshop and then we came out with Photoshop touch but it was only on tablets so Photoshop touch now is on phones it's fine box it's it's definitely worth it especially if you're a Photoshop user now, I am but I just find it just a little bit overkill on when I'm on my phone but we got the stuff like you can add your other layers in there so if you want to add you know different sort of feature layers uh, we can do with adjustments of our you know levels if we wanted to play around with that you know all the levels just where the you know bright white points are that's kind of a nice little interface press it down however you want so if you're familiar with you know the uh, levels and histograms options that's there we do, uh, can you reduce noise we can play with curves and again just play with let's say the green and just knock the green down and let's put the red up you know, again you can play around with all you want it gives you all those features that you're used to with Photoshop that you can do you know, different Filters, Gaussian blur, tint, stylize, just like so. Very, very neat stuff. Oh, we've even got warp. You want to go ahead and adjust the warp. We can play with that. Hey, eh? so it's got plenty, 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 plenty of features that you might want to play around with. that off camera just a little bit there so again you can play around with however much you you want there and it was nice about the Photoshop touch is that if you use the Photoshop account it's got the settings for that as well and we got a little stuff for erasers and stamps and brushes and selection wands etc so you know, want to add a new photo layer etc you can play around with all that kind of stuff so it just gives you a little bit more of the the Photoshop um, tools based on the thing and there's that Photoshop Adobe Creative Cloud I haven't got mine turned on yet I just just download it so there we go you can play around with all that kind of stuff fun stuff so again depends on what you really want to do with your camera uh, if you're taking really nice fancy shots, uh, for the most part, the the simple what you want to do, I would say, is recommend a Snapseed. Very simple. Let's go grab a quick photo again from my gallery. Take a quick shot. There's my son. And let's just play with something here with like tilt shift make that tilt 
I'll shift a little bit out. And you know, play around with something. I, I don't know if you guys can pick up on the camera what I'm doing here. But again, playing around with some of the neat features they have of that. And you have some built-in features if you want. You know, so very simple. And then what's nice is that, again, it has that quick share to Google+, Plus, which for me is the biggest thing. So, so there's, what, five options. Uh, Snapseed, Aviary, the two Photoshops, and the built-in photo editor, which uh, all of them have all the features you would ever need for Photoshop. Uh, if you would like me to do some, you know, further in-depth analysis of what these do, by all means, let me know, uh, and I can do that. Okay, thanks very much, guys.